What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Monday Marketing Minute. I'm your host, Sharky. And this week, we are going to be talking about social media profiles. Now, for those of you who are trying to run a business or sell a product through social media, one of the biggest things that you need to be aware of is the message that your profile is sending. Because once you start trying to run a business through your social media, it's no longer just a place for friends. Your profile actually becomes the portfolio that your customers look at before they decide whether or not they're gonna purchase one of your products. So being very cognizant and conscious about how you want that profile to look is a super important part of running a business on social media. Now, we're gonna go into a little bit more depth in some later weeks about the image that you wanna build for your co uh, company. So I'm not gonna to get too in depth on that right now, um, but I do wanna cover a couple quick topics on this. I know there's a lot of people who like posting memes uh, onto their social media, and I think that can be a valuable way to connect with customers in certain aspects. I also know that from a maker's perspective, there's a lot of people who like posting work in progress photos uh, on their page, which is also a stellar idea in a lot of different ways. But the one thing you have to think about when you're looking at your profile is how difficult is it for a customer to locate a picture of your finished product? I like to believe that when a customer scrolls down through my page, a majority of what they see should be beautiful finished products that catch their eye and make them want to purchase what I'm making. Um, now there's a couple different ways that you can do this, and I don't ever want to dissuade anyone from putting up different things like memes, work in progress photos, if that's the image that you're looking for from your company. Um, but for example, one of the things that I like to do on my page is I like to go through about once a week and remove some of those older work in progress photos off of my page, archive them or delete them, depending on what the uh, social media platform that you're using is, um, so that as you go through my page, you're still seeing a majority of the finished products. Now, posts that do particularly well or seem particularly important or interesting, I'll leave up because I don't need 100% finished products on my page, but I want to ensure that as a customer comes on to my profile, a majority of the things that are coming across their screen as they're scrolling are beautiful finished works of art. So it's something to consider as you look at your profile and figure out which direction you want to go. Now, whether you want to only post finished products on the main page and use your stories to post work in progress uh, or other informal posts is another uh, totally legitimate option. But as you review your page, scroll down and figure out, okay, how much of my finished product is the customer seeing? Because I can tell you from experience, there's nothing that will turn you off faster to potentially buying from a company than seeing something that kind of caught your eye and going to their profile and not being able to see a single post that tells you exactly how their work is going to look when it's done. So I challenge all of you to take a moment, look over your profile and decide is that profile being an accurate and effective portfolio of your finished work. That's all I got for you guys this week. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys again next Monday.